let's look at how to copy class objects. So first of all, I'm going to create a class number. I'm going to make this a little bit more complex than your traditional number type class. I have a private section and a public section. And inside my private section, I have an integer value called value. And I want to have a constructor. So my number and I'm going to have it default um, v equal to zero. So we'll start with a zero if it has nothing else. And I'm just going to have this value get set to my number v. However, to make this more complex, I'm going to go ahead and make this a pointer. So this is a pointer. So now the value, this value has to be, well, I'll make it an integer new, a new integer. So now this creates a, there's a pointer and when you create it, it creates a new integer. All right. So that's a little bit more complex, but that's okay. We can, we can go with this. And the reason for that is because we want to look at how to do copying versus deep copying and what happens here. So I got a constructor and just so you can see these things, I'm going to go ahead and put in a stream insertion operator. So I can just print it out. So let me add my STD O stream and operator. And let's pass in my stream, my O stream OS as a reference. And I will pass in const number for the right hand side. All right. And then all I want to do is just have it print out the value on the stream. So OS and we'll dereference our value. So right hand side value and we'll put down the stream and then we'll just return our O stream. All right. So at this point, I can go ahead and create some objects. So I'm going to create a number num1, and I will assign it a value of 10. And I'll create a number num2, and I'll create a number num3, and I want to and go ahead and have num3 equal num1 and num2 is fine. I just wanted to do num2 equals num1. All right, then I just wanted to display the values and see what we have here. So I'll do a C out and I will have num1. And I will cover that line and have it for all three of them. So I can just display all their values. So at this point, we kind of expect, well, num1 has got a value of 10. Num2 gets assigned num1, so it's got a value of 10. And num3 gets a value of num1, which is num10. So we should expect three different num10s printing out. And that's what we get. It prints out 10 three times. All right, so what really happened here? And why is this, why is there a problem here? Because it looks pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and go up here. After we have a constructor, we will put in a destructor. So my constructor and then my destructor. So I got my number, actually, it's got number. And um, because I am destroying something, I want to go ahead and free this integer. You don't want to have news that are not deleted properly. So you want to do a delete um, my 
this value so we don't have memory leaks and let's just go ahead and print out what's happening so see out and we got destroy okay and and just so we know which one we got we destroyed let's go ahead and um maybe put in something that's more useful here so we'll put our d reference this int value right there and let's have a close parentheses so we can make it look a little prettier all right so it's going to say destroy and then the value inside of parentheses. All right. So same program. We're running it again. And it says 10, 10, 10, destroy 10, 10, 10. All right. That's good. Working good so far. Let's go ahead and have a something to change stuff. Let's put it down here. So I want to have a set value. So I set method so it's going to have a setter and my setter is going to change the value of the integer so set so i receive some integer v equals well just v and we're going to go ahead and dereference our this value and we're going to assign it v all right, that looks good so far. So now I go down here and I'm going to change something. So I'll do, let's have a num2 set, let's make that 20. And then let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. So we run this. And it, now they're all 20s. All three of them are 20s. So what happened here? why is it that number two when it was changed it changed one and three well the reason is because you have three different objects that are all pointing they all have the same pointer this pointer value is pointing to the same thing so we want to change that we want to make it so it's doing a more than just a shallow copy it's deep copying and changing everything and creating new pieces all right, so I'm going to do it with two different steps. I'm going to have a, a copy constructor. And I'm going to put in a my deep copy. I'll start with a deep copy. Um, and before that, maybe let's even show another problem. So I'm going to have this void display number number and I'm going to pass in a number n and all I want to do is just print it out. Displaying and let's do n all right okay let's go ahead and before we display all these other things let's go ahead and do a display number of let's do um num1 so we're displaying num1 all right, so what we're doing here is we create num1, we create num2, num2 gets set equal to m1, num3 is created and set equal to num1, then we're changing num2 to 20, we're going to display this number, and then we're going to display num1, 2, and 3. So run this, we will see it did some weird things. First, it said displaying 20. Then it destroy 20. Then it says 20, 20, 20. Then destroy 20, 20, 20. So we have four destroys. And we have four different displays. One of the displays right here. 
So let's look at each of these things, what happened. So with the display number, what happened is a new object was created, n. And then at the end of this function, it deleted n and destroyed it. So that was that first printing out displaying 20 and then destroy 20. And then it went through and displayed all these other ones, num1, 2, and 3. But num1, 2, and 3 were all set to num2's value, which is really confusing. So this example right here, where I do num2 equals num1, is my deep copy situation. And this one right here, the num3 equals num1, is going to be my copy constructor because we are constructing one, I mean, constructing num3 by copying num1. So let's do the deep copy first. The deep copy, I need to take care of that by doing a number. And I'm going to do an operator, an equals operator. Operator equals. And the operator is going to receive in a value, a const copy of the right hand side of this object. So I create this method right here. And what this thing does is it takes, it assumes that both of these things exist already, right? So this value already exists. And now it's going to assign this value the value over on the right hand side. And then it's going to return this. So that is my deep copying because it assumes that both of them exist already because you can see number one and number two both already exist at this point. Number two has a value of zero. Number one has a value of 10. And so this goes ahead and it does the deep copy where number two becomes equal to number one. So we'll go ahead and run this now and see what happens. So we run this and we can see that in this case, we still have this displaying 10, destroying 10, except it's not 20, it's 10. And you can see that 10 is unaffected, right? That's number one. Num2 is now 20, and num3 is num is still num1's value, so it must be the same thing as num1. So that would be the copy constructor we're going to take care of right here. The copy constructor is basically a constructor, but you're assuming that you are taking a copy and it gets passed in there. So you got number and I'm passing in a const number reference. So I'll do right hand side because that's what's the right hand side of the copy. And then this value is not assigned. There's nothing there. So I'm going to assign it to be a new int and I want to grab the old ones. So the right hand side the right hand sides value and there we go it will get the right hand sides value dereference it make an integer and pass that to this new value in this and so that will allow us to do our copy constructor so I run that and now you can see that I've got a pen 20 10, although the tens could be potentially different. So the num three set it equal to 30 to see if they are in fact different. So if these two, we already know that num two is not the same as num one anymore because it has this deep copy. If num three changes num one's value to 30 we know they're still kind of tied together but if num three is separate then we know that they are separate so let's go ahead and run it and you can see that it has a 10 
20, and 30, which means that they are all dealing with their own pieces of information. So some information about deep copying. You want to keep track of all these things. Make sure you have your, if you have any pointers in there, you want to make sure you clean up your pointers, make sure things are good. Um, when you pass things into functions, realize that you are doing a shallow copy unless you explicitly tell it how to do a deep copy like we have right here. And you also want to make sure that your destructors do properly clean things up and not destroy things that are already that have already been destroyed. So here we go. And you can see that we have taken care of doing our deep copy.